Look out cuz here he comes. Hugh Jackman is in Dublin and he's wrangled a few familiar faces to come with him. The Australian actor has landed in the capital ahead of his three sellout shows in the three arena. The man the music the show is originally only scheduled for one show but due to demand, two extra shows on Friday were added. During the announcement for the show, Jackman said he was hoping to bring some special guests with him and announced that his greatest showman co-star Keila Settle would be joining him for some dates in Europe. Originally, Keela's leg of the tour was only including the first few dates of the European leg but Hugh announced via Instagram that they had convinced her to stay for the rest of the run. The show will include songs from the platinum-selling soundtrack from The Greatest Showman, Les Miserables, The Boy from Oz and many more. Hugh even jokes that he planned to include songs from roles he auditioned for but didn't get cast. When chatting to the Today Show to announce the tour, Carson Daly asked him how he chose the songs. Hugh replied, It's really self-indulgent. I do my favorite songs. And you will all sit through it. Gallery. Facts to know about Hugh Jackman. Photo service. Academy Award-nominated actor Hugh Jackman is known for films such as The X-Men, Franchise, 2017, Kate and Amp, Leopold, 2001, The Prestige, 2006, and Les Miserables, 2012, for which he received a Best Actor nomination at the Oscars. He has also won praise and acclaim for stage productions like The Boy from Oz, 2003. We look at some facts about the actor you may not no. Jackman graduated from the University of Technology in Sydney, Australia, with a communications degree. During his final year he took up a drama course for extra credits. That course sparked his interest in acting. Speaking about it to Daily Extra in 2011, he said, In that week, I felt more at home with those people than I did in the entire three years at university. Growing up, he always wanted to travel and had a map of the world on his wall, instead of footy, soccer, stars or rock stars, with one exception, Olivia Newton-John. At the 2016 Good Day Los Angeles Gala, Jackman admitted, I did have a poster of Olivia Newton-John up on my wall, which I literally kissed maybe even practiced tongue kissing on. I'm not sure. Pictured, Jackman and Newton-John at the Australia Day Ball in New York City, New York, U.S. on January 19, 2007. Prior to acting, Jackman used to work as a gas station attendant and a birthday party clown. In an interview to In the News, he reminisced, I was Coco the Clown, and I had no magic tricks. And I remember a six-year-old standing up at a party saying, Mommy this clown is terrible, he doesn't know any tricks, and he was right. He met his wife, actress Deborah Lee Furness, on the set of the TV show, Corelli, in 1995. They are parents to two adoptive children, Oscar and Ava. The actor was offered a part in the popular Australian soap opera, Neighbours, in the early 90s. He turned it down for the chance to refine his craft at the Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts of Edith Cowan University in Perth, Australia. Pictured, a still from, Neighbours, featuring Scott Michelson and Natalie Imbruglia. Jackman played the role of Gaston in the Australian production of the musical Beauty and the Beast, in 1995. He made his Broadway debut with, The Boy from Oz, winning a Tony, pictured for Best Actor in a Musical in 2004. The actor is a fan of the Friday the 13th horror film franchise, pictured. He took up acting in the hope that someday, he might be able to play the role of Jason Voorhees. Jackman had not watched a single episode of Saturday Night Live until he was invited to host the show in 2001, pictured. To help him prepare for his stint and understand the format, the Producers sent over several tapes. Jackman credits Russell Crowe with giving him his break as Wolverine, the A Beautiful Mind, 2001. Star was initially offered the role but turned it down and recommended his friend. Instead, Jackman told Triple M, 104.9 FM, Brian Singer, the director, asked Rusty Crow to do Wolverine, and he said, Nah, mate, I've just done Gladiator, it's not for me, but you should look. 
at this guy. The Aussie actor's favorite song is You Can't Always Get What You Want by the Rolling Stones. Pictured with Stones lead singer Mick Jagger during a Saturday Night Live skit on December 8, 2001. Jackman has also turned down the iconic role of British super spy James Bond. He explained his decision to Variety magazine in a 2017 interview, saying, I just felt at the time that the scripts had become so unbelievable and crazy, and I felt like they needed to become grittier and real. I was also worried that between Bond and X-Men, I'd never have time to do different things. The part eventually went to English actor Daniel Craig, pictured. Jackman not only attended fellow Australian actor Nicole Kidman's wedding to Keith Urban in 2006, he also performed at the ceremony. Speaking about it to Hollywood.com, the actor stated, I sang a song that Nicole asked me to sing Keith's favorite song, Tenerfield Saddler, a Peter Allen song, which is probably one of my favorite songs as well. Pictured L.R. Jackman, Furnace Kidman and Urban at the Good Day USA Black Tie Gala in Los Angeles, California, U.S. on January 12, 2013. While promoting Real Steel 2011, pictured the actor participated in a WWE wrestling match. He helped Zack Ryder beat the competition's U.S. champion Dolph Ziggler. While shooting for The Wolverine 2013, pictured, he followed a nutrition plan recommended by Dwayne Rock Johnson. He consumed 6,000 calories every day, in addition to vigorous training sessions to achieve that muscled look. Jackson and his wife's wedding rings have the Sanskrit inscription Om Paramar Mainamar, which translates to, We dedicate our union to a greater source. Jackman and Kidman are godparents to media mogul Rupert Murdoch's youngest daughters, Grace and Chloe. Pictured Jackman and Murdoch in New York City, New York, U.S. on November 24, 2008. He was named the sexiest man alive in 2008 by People magazine and, in December 2012, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Pictured Jackman has a man crush on George Clooney. In a 2015 interview shared on his Twitter account, he commented, Who would I date if I was a woman? I reckon George Clooney because he's funny and he's naughty and he's kind of cheeky. And he just looks like fun. Did you know he was reportedly offered a role in the Bollywood film, Mangal Pandey, The Rising, 2005? Jackman turned it down, however, and the role went to English actor Toby Stevens. Pictured, Stevens, R, and Amir Khan in a still from the film. In February 2019, Jackman was awarded a Guinness World Records certificate for longest career as a live-action Marvel superhero. He has played Logan, Wolverine on 10 different occasions and, for a total of 16 years, he shares the award with fellow veteran, X-Men, actor Patrick Stewart. Pictured, Jackman and Stewart at AQ and AMP, a to discuss, Logan, in New York City, New York, U.S., on March 2, 2017. The first of the Dublin shows is Thursday, May 30th, with doors opening at 6.30 p.m. Hugh taking to the stage at 7.30 p.m. sharp. The Friday matinee has doors opening at 12.30 p.m. with Hugh appearing at 2.15 p.m. More Entertainment